Do you know? No, I mean, they don't even look. It's so interesting. Like with Caravaggio is another example. Yeah, Caravaggio. They walk right by a picture of a guy being crucified upside And then they down. say, what's well, about? Like, no, that's nice. It's about shadows. It's about the incidents of life. Fuck them. Mm -hmm. It's like, <laughs> well, you know what amazes me about Hopper? Oh yeah, I do. Do you want to? One of the things about painting that painters is, is that I hate the most is when people say, "Oh yes, I love Hopper." Fuck you. What do you mean? I love Pollock. Yeah. No, you shouldn't. How can you say that's almost like an insult? You know, the guy was a lived a very painful life. The guy was burning in hell when Pollock was alive. And then somebody comes along 50 years ago, oh God, I love Pollock. I love his work. That's what's so amazing though, is it was there all along. Yeah. And nobody gave a damn right. <laughs> about it. Yeah. But even, if they, even if they did, you know, what are you going to do? Go out to Long Island? And what? And you shake his hand and say, oh, caress his head? What are you going to do? It's... Well, not only that, then his dealers turned on him and he wanted to change his painting style. Again, Clement Greenberg, yeah. you know, a heroin addict all his life. Another guy that loved him. <laughs> and Hell, and, and Rosemary, and all those people. But that's, a, I think that's a huge dilemma. I mean, but, but the art world is so stupid too, it's so shallow. Well, well I mean, it, it, but it's as shallow as it should be, right? I mean, how can it be deeper in, in in any society, it's been, it, it has been. It's had its time. Like when, when we spoke on the phone the other night, and I, I said, well, you know, it's, I think it's about time that Madonna, Michael Jackson, you know, made their way into your painting because the contrast would be so amazing, right? Yeah, yeah, like it says the rape of Europa, the rape of Miley Cyrus. Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but, do you, do you, do you, do you see what no, I mean? I totally if you do put do Madonna in, 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 in a transvestite way in, in your yeah. painting, or Michael Jackson, or the one Madonna of and child with an African child. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. With an African yeah. child. Or Angelina Jolie with, with a tw 12 adopted children. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. No, I think it's actually interesting because this is something I've been thinking a lot about, which this was kind of a movement in the direction mm -hmm. of taking my own personal mythology that comes from my experiences, which in the end, when I look at it, are so different than the vast majority of experiences out there that I think there does need to be a bridge for that to meet people right. with their own level of experience. Yeah. You know, very few people The bridge to what the pop the pop era, the pop, the the bullshit pop, the shallow. Yeah, like you were talking about your play at the Wailing Wall and this like image came into my mind of like a painting called Lysistrata yeah. where you have Palestinians and you have the uh, the rabbis and the very orthodox Israelis and they're all just there fucking each other yeah. right at the wall and like mm. something like that people would get the point right. you know <laughs> because a lot of these have a pretty strong point but I think unless you're really like into the same mythology and stories and I don't think it always comes across to people you know? no it doesn't I mean I, I you know and I, I don't I mean it's very rare that people actually care about the artist's life and their work and put two and two together. Yeah, it's true. It is true. I don't think that people actually care about the agonies. Yeah. Well, like the last time we spoke a lot about Wagner. You know, I don't think that people give a damn about Richard Wagner's, Richard Wagner's life and the agonies uh, that he went through yeah. to pour out his work of total art. And if you even talk about the work of total art, because mm -hmm. I'm concerned, people will go, what? What are you talking about? That this guy actually devised all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Which is such a task. Which is such an incredible, you know, this is all the work of total art, the, 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 everything. Yeah. Not music, but the stage. The visuals. The visual, yeah, the whole thing. Like the whole art, which is what it actually, I think, in the end, is the goal of art, is to encompass it. It, sh it should be. But people don't, when you, when you say, Wagner people associated only with the with the word opera. Yeah. Opera. Which in Italian means work. Opera means work. Opera. People and don't it's even a collaboration know. on some level. Unless you're so obsessive you do every Yeah. Part but 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 people don't people don't. But they well, also look at Wagner and there's like so many political 
opinions about Wagner and what he stands of, for. That because is, of the Third Reich, because, yeah. because be, he died in 1883, and exactly 1933, the Third Reich yeah. started ascending. So 40 years after his death, is it 40, is it 50, 50, 50 years, 50 years in the future of Wagner's death, yeah. there was something coming from Austria and reaching Munich. Did he know? No, he didn't. Would he have endorsed it? I don't think so. Of course he was anti-Semitic anti because he was profoundly German yeah. and he wanted Jews out, the hell out of Germany. He wanted, out of, he wanted Jews out of, out, out of the Germanistic and a lot of creative people have been real bastards, but they're still geniuses. Sure. You know? yeah. I mean, Caravaggio again look at, comes look, to mind. Pirandello. Pirandello was. What did he do? Pirandello was very anti-Semitic. He wanted, he wanted Jews out of, out of Italian art. And can you dismiss Pirandello as a, as a bad dramaturg, as a bad playwright? He was a fantastic, one of the very best. He had a big confrontation with Lorca. Lorca was a communist. In Spain, Pirandello was a fascist yeah. in Italian. Well, so what? I don't give a fuck. Well, He's almost still... everybody who was a fascist in Italy well, is still Ezra Pound. You had to. Ezra Pound. Ezra Pound, the, the, the first concrete poet, an American born pro Mussolini. Yeah. Ezra Pound. We wouldn't know what concrete poetry was about had it not been for Ezra Pound. Well, yeah, yeah. yet he endorsed Mussolini. Well, what are we going to do? Dismiss Oskantos? Yeah. Well, they the even endorsed Napoleon until well, things turned they, out. They, there you are, you know. Yeah. So it's, are you filming? Oh, are you filming? I didn't know. <laughs> Ezra Pond, you know, and Hemingway and all these people, like Gertrude Stein would say, ah! well, Ezra Pond was a magical human being. And so what? I mean, Hemingway loved the bullfighting thing. I hate it. You might hate it. I've never seen it, actually. No, I mean, but the, the very idea of, you know, we know that that bull's going to die, right? Yeah. He's not going to kill the torero. <laughs> bound, bound to die. That's true. Almost bound to become time. a barbecue at the end of the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, that bull's going to die. Those people in the arena are not paying to see the bullfighter die. That bull, for, uh, in, in Spain, the bullfighter is a hero. And that bull is going to die because it's all set up for, for this bull to die. Definitely. Stick it in once, stick it in twice, torture this bull to death. It's all about torture. Yeah. Amnesty International is not, not going to intervene, and the Human Rights Watch is more preoccupied with... It's all about torture, and it's, it's a really dire way of... It's a horrible way to see an animal being tortured yeah. in front it's, of 30,000 people. It's actually really strange, because I always assumed there must be some connection to the idea of the seasons and the sun setting and the sun god and the bull getting slaughtered and the blood coming out and that it probably goes back to some very old Hellenistic or even pre-Hellenistic religious rituals? It's, 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 it's Arabic, it's, it's Phoenician. Is it Phoenician? It's Phoenician, yeah. It's Phoenician. And the idea of torturing animals is a ritual which is as old as we are, human beings. But people didn't pay to see it. Yeah, it was done in small tribes. It was a tribal thing. And they actually believed there was a purpose. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was done for God. Sacrifices, you know. Religious sacrifice. That's, a, that's what it was called. No, you're right. It is but didn't you get, there wasn't a sport where people occupied 30,000 seats in an arena until the Moorish arrived in, in, in Spain and made it into a sport. Oh, that's and then it became a sport. Interesting. Okay. Then it became a sport and it became a... A very popular sport in in the Iberic Peninsula 